Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about the collaboration with Kylie Cosmetics and Kim Kardashian West. Um, this is what the packaging looks like. It's a matte soft pink. It's very pretty. I like it. You open it and you have your liquid lipsticks. These are cream liquid lipsticks. They're not your average um, matte long-lasting liquids. They don't claim to be long lasting so don't expect them to be long lasting i did swatch them earlier today i had to receive them today today saturday i swatched them earlier today and they do feel kind of like a more of a not like a gloss it really just feels like a traditional lipstick in a liquid from left to right this one right here is in the shade kimberly and this one's more of the like a true nude then the next shade is Kim, which is more of a peachy nude. Then we have the, um, this is the shade Kiki, which is more of a pinky nude. And then the last shade that we have is Kimmy, which is more like a deep nude. So these are what they look like. I like the packaging. I must say that it's very nice. This is my first time ordering from Kylie, so I can't compare them to any other of the packaging. But I really, really like this packaging. It seems like this is like a, it's plastic, but it looks like one of those nice, like, crystal, not crystallized, but one of these, like, glass. It just looks like glass. It's plastic, but it looks like glass, and it looks really, really pretty. I really like it. Um, and yeah, here they are. So to make this video a lot more interesting, I'm going to show you swatches of them and I'm also going to try them on, on my lips so you guys can see what they look. So.
enjoy the swatches. Now we're going to go ahead and talk a little bit about the what I feel about them, what I think about them, um, whether I recommend them or not. First off, just so you guys can see because it's all about the, um, the product, right? So first of all, the packaging, it is to die for. I love the packaging. I think it's beautiful. I love the pink. I'm definitely probably going to put this once I get my beauty room all nice and settled and get it all how I want it to be. This is probably going to be one of those things that I have on display because um, I really, really, really like it. I think it's really nice. I love how it's just like a little box. Um, and then I like how, the, how they're packaged, just everything, just how they come in this box. And I do like how the actual individual packaging looks. It's like a matte pink, um, very well, very nice. It seems sturdy. Um, I like the applicator. So far, the packaging and how they did this went well. Um, the colors, the first color you guys saw was the color Kimberly, which is more of the true nude. I believe this is like one of those colors where I have to kind of get used to or I have to put something under it and kind of bring a little bit more because I feel like it's a little too light for me. Um, not because I think it looks wrong, it's just that I'm not used to having such light colors like that. Um, but I do like it. I think it looks really nice. One of the good ones. Um, and I do love wearing that one. The next one that I see myself, it's a little too light as well, just because I'm not used to wearing light colors like this. The next one is Kim, which is the one that I'm currently wearing right now. It's actually, I think it's actually my favorite one, which is more of a peachy nude. Um, I really like it. The only thing I could say is that this one was a little bit streaky um, compared to the other ones. I don't know if it's because I'm used to the matte liquid lipsticks and I expect everything to always be just boom full of pigmentation but did this this did not claim to be full coverage and it did not claim to be long lasting it didn't claim to be matte it didn't claim to be anything of what i am comparing it to so for that i think that it's a good product the color is gorgeous i mean all of the colors all the nudes are beautiful i see myself wearing each and every single one of them but i definitely think that this one which is called kim is definitely my favorite one then the next one, which was Kiki, which is more like a peach. I also, I mean, not peach, sorry. It's more like a pinky nude. This is actually my second favorite, I would say. It's beautiful. I love it. I can see myself wearing it all the time. I don't wear many pink anymore. I used to, but um, now that I got this one and it's kind of in between that pink and nude, which is what I'm into right now, I think I'm going to be reaching for this one a lot, a lot more than my favorite shade, honestly just because I feel like this is going to go with a lot of the looks that I go with and that I do. So I feel like um, Kiki is probably the one that I'm going to get most use out of. And then last but not least is Kimmy, which is the darkest one. I like it. I think it's pretty. Um, this is actually a good one for day-to-day -day use as well. It's something that I can throw into my um, purse. And if I just need to put something on, I feel like this is the perfect one for that just because it's not really full coverage but it does give me good pigmentation it covers my lips i feel like this one's more like my lip color but better if that makes any sense like i feel like it looks very similar to my natural lip color except that you know it makes it look more even more you know just beautiful you know like a lipstick makes you look just makes you look a lot better so i feel like this is what um kimmy does for me um i did wear um which ones was this one i'm sorry I did wear Kimberly um, earlier in the day today, which was the first one that I put on and that I tried. And I could say that it probably lasted for an hour before it started to fade. I mean, it wasn't completely gone, but I could say that within an hour it was already starting to fade. So I would say that if you are going to wear these or if you want these for a long day or something where you're trying to do something for a long time, you should either carry it with you or just opt from something else if you want something long lasting because they don't last long. But like I said, they never claim to. So it's, you know, it's not like they, it's not like it's bad. It's just they never claimed to be long lasting. So don't think that that's what you're going to get when you wear one of these. Um, I can say that, like I said, I feel like Kim, which was my favorite one, was one of the streakiest one to put on. It was a little tricky to put on, but once it got on, 
it was beautiful gorgeous i have nothing negative to say except for it was just a little bit a little bit more difficult than the rest to work with um they feel very comfortable i don't feel heavy my lips do not feel like i have a huge amount of product on it i don't think that it's gonna build around the edges of my mouth or inside of my mouth at least not i don't i really don't think it is just because like i said when i was wearing it for an hour earlier when it started to fade i didn't have none of that gunk in the inside of my mouth nor on the edges of my mouth and it was just very 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 easy um comfortable to wear okay all in all i could say that the product if i were to if i had to rate this product i'd probably rate it um a 9 out of 10 the only reason why i'm not giving it a full 10 is just because it's not long lasting and that's something that i always like in my products to be long lasting just because i am lazy and i don't like to reapply all the time so that's the only reason why i don't give it a full 10 but like i said it didn't claim to be long lasting and for that reason i can give it a full 10 um if it wasn't for my expectations of what i like but it's a really good product. Do I recommend it? I do recommend it. I do think that anyone that is looking for just nudes that they can wear all the time if they don't want to wear, you know, something that's drying on the lips and they're just kind of over the whole matte liquid lipstick, you know, trend that's been going on for a while. If you're just over that, I think that you will really, really, really like these. These are very comfortable, very nice color, very nice shade selection. Um, just because like I said there are different on social media they were speaking a lot about the colors look very similar but they're not once you put them on when you apply them and especially with the look that I had on today I could definitely see the difference of what the colors look like um, so I don't think that you're gonna be wasting your money because they all look the same they don't and they don't they're not the same um, I really do think that they give you a good range of different nudes um, for day to day I think that I'm going to get a good use out of these and I mean there's nothing bad that I can say about them. The only thing that I can give like a very bad talk about or that I'm not happy with was the service that I got over with Kylie Cosmetics. And I know this isn't, isn't you know personally with her and it's not her really her fault although I know that some people don't like the, the Kardashians and stuff like that because they're a controversial family but this is not even about that it's just about the makeup and the service that I got from them that I'm not happy with um, I did not like the fact that they were already relaunching before they even sent out or shipped the first launch um, before they started doing their stock ups and everything like that and when I spoke out or when I emailed customer service I kept getting these automated res not automated responses but they were pretty much these responses that were like they it might as well have been automated because it was just like these responses like oh your best things will be there from three to five days things that I could read on the website so I just didn't like that they didn't even take the time to actually answer the question that I had that I had asked so I'm not a hundred percent happy with the service over at Kylie Cosmetics but I mean I can get past that because at the end of the day what I really care for is the product and I mean it was my first experience and my first experience wasn't the greatest but I could say that if I were to order again and that experience happens again I probably won't ever order from them again but since this was such a good product I don't see myself stopping from ordering something else because I really really like this I think it was really nice I love them I'm actually kind of obsessed with it and I can't wait to see what other looks I can you know what other stuff that I can wear this with pair it with and whatnot so anyways thank you guys so much for watching I know that this was a little bit of a long video and I know it was just a little repetitive and everything that I was saying and I know you guys have seen so many videos out on YouTube talking about the KKW collaboration with Kylie Cosmetics but I like I said I wanted to give you my honest opinion my honest review on these just because I feel like you know once it comes to the Kardashian whether you love them or you hate them so you just never get a uh, good review on what the actual product is just because they're so, so controversial and i'm really impartial about them i don't hate them i don't love them they're just like whatever to me but i do like this um product so hopefully if you guys do get your hands on it i hope you guys too i think they're gonna have a third relaunch i'm not sure because they did sell out with the first and second launch i'm not sure if they are gonna come out with a third relaunch but kim kardashian west did put a card 
with this that she's gonna have a surprise so she might come up with something new I don't know what it is if it's something like a highlighter which I'm kind of hoping for because I love highlighters and I think every girl in the makeup world love highlighters so hopefully that's what it is but if it's not um, you know who knows we'll see and I can't wait to see what else comes out from Kylie Cosmetics. Anyways, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or any concerns or anything that you would like to talk to me about or just anything, drop them down in the comment section below. I will give, I will be putting this up on my description box, the descriptions of each color, which order was it the ones that I put them in and all that information will be down in the bottom bar. If, um, if there's anything you guys would like to see in specific, I'll really, really appreciate it. I want to thank you guys so much for supporting me, especially because I'm new, I'm upcoming, and um, it's nerve-wracking to put your face out in the internet, especially when you're a little shy like I am. So thank you, thank you so much for being so supportive and being so kind to me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Again, we have, oh, 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 ah! <laughs> okay, sorry about that. This, uh, all in all, I can honestly say that the product, oh, uh, ah, keeps stalling. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Um, uh, 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 sorry. 